All right, good morning, everybody. You have to excuse my sniffles. I'm still a little under the weather. It's like 45 degrees. I'm dressed like it's 30 below. But um, we're going to be installing some Timberlands today on the old Ford. Uh, we got the big salt box going in there this year. So um, here's the, uh, the part number I got. Can you read that? And, uh, you know, I got this off of Amazon. Um, it was around... Two hundred dollars. So, <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna take the forklift and I'll throw this salt box in there um, before we put the timberins on and see if just the box uh, lowers it at all without any salt in it. So we'll see. About about a half inch drop with the empty salt box without the spreader on there. So, um. all right, we just gotta attach these two pieces here. Um, this has got a washer inside of it. Make sure that's in there. It just kind of flops around in there. And then we'll uh, take this bolt. I'm going to throw some uh, some anti-seize on there. Because these timberins have a lifetime warranty on them. So they'll be coming with me to my next truck. Which will probably be an F350. Get the lock washer on there. Um, 9 sixteenths with a little extension on there. Let's see if we can thread this son of a gun through there. Alright. See how it's threaded through. And then this piece has threads on it. So just make sure you hand tighten it first. Okay. Okay, and uh, yeah, she's assembled. You take this over to the truck, and the bolt's gonna come in this way. So uh, let's go take the uh, OEM bump stop off there. Okay, we have the uh, truck on the lift now. Let's take a look at uh, at these factory um, bump stops. I'm gonna call them bump stops. You can call them whatever you want. Um, there's a nut up there that we got to loosen and uh, take those off and I believe that's the first step all right so before we start messing around with that bolt I'm gonna hit it with a little penetrating oil let's go ahead and hit it just one dab will do you and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the other side while we're messing around over here unfortunately this bolt looks like it's uh this nut looks like it's a uh, 15 millimeter and i don't have a 15 millimeter in a gear wrench so that's not cool it's not on there too bad all right so that broke it and i'm gonna go get a, a ratchet I've been putting off buying the uh, the full set of um, the gear wrenches, buying one here and there. I like those ones with the adjustable heads. You know, I work on mowers a lot, and uh, it just helps out a lot. I hope I'm not just spinning something. I'm just gonna keep going until. Uh, something breaks or it comes off or I hit my knuckles on here and I scream like a little girl. Jeez. My, my oh my oh my. Huh. I wonder. I don't feel like holding it with my hand. 
I'm gonna go get a set of uh, adjustable pliers. I guess it's just gonna fight me all the way here. Feels like it's breaking a little bit. It's just a long ass bolt, I think. Alright, I think that we got her now. Just a long bolt there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. That's what I use, so. Well, let's put the timber on there. Alright, just to make this easier to come off later on, take some anti seize and just kind of. Alright, here we go. Here's the timber all set up, and then the bolt with the lock washer and the washer. And uh, we'll see how it wants to go up on here. Looks like just like that. I'll probably be blocking you guys here. Sorry about that. But I'm just threading the bolt through there like that. And we'll just lace it up with our hands first. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And that's also the new bolt's gonna accept a uh, a 15 millimeter. So, and then we're gonna have to add this um, when you're doing your maintenance checks and everything. Um, add this to your uh, list of suspension components to check. All right, let's compare the uh, the OEM stop bumper there to this one here. Can you see? So. Um, about three or four inches or so. <clears throat> so, pretty significant, we'll see. And the goal is that it's gonna sit right on here. All right. Oh, can I say just do the reverse on the other side? Would that be all right with you guys? Thank you, thank you. All right, and there's gonna be some uh, hardware left over. We're obviously gonna use this. Um, that goes on that top bolt. This is the long bolt that goes through, and I think you use a lock washer for that, if I'm not mistaken. And then you got these these extra two here, <coughs> and those are if you need to adjust the timbering either right or left. Um, I guess there's some extra holes there if it doesn't quite line up, but it looks like ours lines up uh, pretty good. And that'll be for 2011 to 2016 uh, F-250 Super Duties. I know that for sure. So, we might have uh, these two left over. Alright, it looks like I'm not going to have to move the truck back to the original spot where we made our first measurement. Because the timberings actually aren't touching um, that uh, ear of the, of the block there. So this timberin has about another inch to go. So we know that it dropped a half inch. So it'll be about, it needs to drop about an inch and a half for this particular timberin to touch the ear of that uh, leaf spring block there. And this salt box empty weighs, I looked it up, um, 550 pounds. So, just to give you an idea. Alrighty, um, I think that's going to complete the install there.